sent things over to John. I'm a year to go to the most magical place on earth. Mickey and his friends have a lot of things for you and your family to do and see at Disney World and all the attractions. WDW radio host Lou Mangiello joins us now with your all access holiday Disney pass. Lou, it's always great to see you. Appreciate you coming in. Uh, you know what? I thought, nah, it's just early December. We're going to go down, do Epcot and all that. It was packed this weekend. There's a lot of people in town right now. It's, uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's decorated. The crowds are, are in. It used to be a really slow time of year. It's 84 degrees, so it really is getting you ready it's good time for the to be here. Uh, yeah, but there's there's some things you can do to try and avoid some of those crowds and really get the most out of your day. Let's talk about some of the big things going on. I mean, you talk about this stuff all the time. You blog about it. You do the radio show on it. What are your must-see things at all the Disney parks this time of year? So for me, I think one thing uh, that I love is over at Epcot, they have the Holiday Storytellers. Uh, it's a great way to sort of walk around World Showcase and get to see how the holidays are celebrated uh, in other countries through with other cultures, experience some of the food as well too. Certainly the Osborne family spectacle of Dancing Lights at Disney's Hollywood Studios is an absolute must do every year. Yeah, let's go back to Epcot very quickly because when the uh, the candlelight processional takes mm -hmm. place, we saw Whoopi Goldberg this okay. weekend, but when that takes place, the rest of the park empties out. Yeah. We got right onto all the rides. Do you suggest, I, if you don't want to see the processional, that's probably a good idea to do the rides with the kids. Yeah, if you want to see the processional, some people like to line up very, very early to the get this. The lines are <laughs> huge to get into that thing. Yeah, they were down to Morocco from what I understand for uh, for Whoopi Goldberg the other wow. day. So, uh, but you know, you can also sort of stand in the back and watch and listen. Uh, I think everybody should see it. But it is a great time to experience all the other things because the candlelight processional does get pretty crowded. The same kind of thing. I, I didn't want you to mention this, but I'm going to have you mention it. We're going down to see the lights this weekend at um, at the at the studios, and you say everybody rushes in. There it is, right there. Everybody rushes in when the lights come on at whatever five or five fifteen. Right. That's not the best idea, is it? No, because everybody wants to see there when they turn the lights on. It is pretty cool to watch. But if you really want to sort of get the most out of it, especially as we get closer to Christmas, it is going to get more and more crowded, especially on the weekends. My suggestion is, if you can, go at the end of the night. Go right before the park closes, maybe an hour, half hour before the park closes. Most of the people have seen them. They've walked through already. It's a great way to experience it without the crowds being as heavy. Same situation. When everybody fl uh, floods in to see the Christmas lights, some of the rides may open up again. Absolutely. So, now, what about Disney World itself? Uh, what's going on special right now there? So, obviously, you know, they celebrate Christmas everywhere. Mickey's uh, Very Merry Christmas Party is going on the Magic Kingdom. Uh, even Animal Kingdom, they have the Jingle Jungle Parade. Uh, Magic Kingdom also has the Jingle Cruise going on, sort of a holiday overlay of the Jungle Cruise. And I think one of the best things to do that people don't think about is going to visit the resorts. There's the Gingerbread House at the Grand Floridian. See, Each I, one is don't, I don't think about that, but you can just go through the resorts and see what's going on, Absolutely. can't you? You don't need a park pass uh, to be able to do it. Go to, go to downtown Disney. There's a lot of lights. There's a lot of entertainment there as well, too. But the resorts are beautiful this time of year. Yeah, before I let you go here, also downtown Disney, how are things coming along? there. I haven't heard much about the progress of some of the rehab. Yeah, so the conversion to Disney Springs is underway, and one of the things you can first see when you get there is obviously they're in the process of building the parking structure. is very much needed there. Uh, so parking can sometimes be a challenge, but you're seeing some construction walls go up. Some things are starting to go away. The old Captain Jacks in the marina is gone. Um, so you're going to start to see some forward-moving construction pretty soon. Theme parks open on Christmas Day, aren't they? Open and crowded. The Magic Kingdom is will it probably... A big day? It's the busiest day of the year. The Magic Kingdom will probably be closed by about 10, 10 30 for capacity. So if you're going to go on Christmas Day, you got to get up there early. You should probably get there now. I'm, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to call it anything but downtown Disney, and I got to come up with a new name, <laughs> Disney Springs. I got to start saying this soon. It's going to have a very different look and feel to it. It's going to be a lot bigger and I think a lot better. Sounds good. Lou Mangiello, always good to see you. What's your website in case people want to check it out? WDWradio.com. The best ever. Find out all the inside secrets. Lou, thanks so much hey, for thank you. Me. Appreciate Perfect. it. Okay, 851 here on Good Day Orlando, and we do have a lot more coming up here on Good Day. We'll be right back. Six, 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 six.